what did I say? You all laughed at me. You're not laughing now. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward and Leeds United have gone to the Foxes and won it. 1-0. Leeds United. I tell you what, guys, smash that like button. Let's go for 500 likes on this video. Also, subscribe if you are new. And also comment your man of the match today. It could have been any of the defenders, any of the midfielders, any of the attackers. We've gone to Leicester, top of the league, and we've beat them at their place. Guys, I said it. I was confident in this team. Leicester, yeah, they're a good little side, but they couldn't break down the mighty whites. Fair play to them. They had a good few couple of players, but they only had that last shot on target when Melies pulled out an absolute Manuel Neuer-esque save in the top corner. It was absolutely fantastic from, from Melies, but Leeds United deserved win. A thoroughly deserved win from the Whites tonight, and we were just better than them. I, I thought defensively we were better passing. We counter-attack. I was saying to my dad, we're one of the best countering attacking teams in the world. I genuinely stand by that, and a lot of people were saying about my optimism and thinking, you're crazy. How have you seen this? What I saw against Huddersfield was aura, was a bit of, I don't know, just a, a bit of something more. And I saw it and we've gone to Leicester and we've opened up this top two race. It might have helped Ipswich Town. I don't know. Who knows? But we are just coming knock on door for that top two. I was so confident. People were laughing at me and I love it. I, I, I'm never this confident and it, it works, but it has this time. Um it was a very entertaining game for the neutral, realistically. It was, and, and obviously Leicester will be up there this season. I'm just giddy because the game has only just ended. But yeah, um, the goal was a lovely ball in from Dan James. Byram had a really good save and their goalkeeper, Hermanson, I was really impressed with him tonight. I thought he was really good. Not that he had loads to do, but just on the ball, calm, uh, good good with his feet. Uh, but then Rutter uh, tapped it in for the goal, celebrating in front of them Leeds fans. They, they all loved it. Me and my dad, you know, we, we mentioned that the, it just seems like a team. You know, they're all playing for each other. They're fighting for each other. They're all putting that last-ditch tackle in for each other, which I absolutely love. I thought the subs, when they came on, were, were decent. Gruev got stuck in, which I really, really like. I thought Glenn Kamara was fantastic again. The back four, Archie Gray at right back, kept, you know, his left midfielder quiet. The two centre-halves, Pascal and Roden, fantastic. Best partnership in the league, I'll say it. Sam Byram. You know, he started the game off a bit. Uh, I mean, he wasn't even poor. He was just on an early yellow, which isn't ever great. Um, I thought we maybe had to take him off at halftime just because he was on a early yellow. Really professional performance in that second half. And, um, you know, we kept a clean sheet and he had a fantastic second half. It did help that the wingers were tracking back in that second half, Somerville and Dan James. Them two, again, had another fantastic game. And I think this really puts out a message to the rest of the league. Leeds United are here and uh, I feel like we're going to be a team to beat now. You know, them little Stoke losses in Southampton and they're just annoying now because if we did beat Stoke, that'd be five wins on the bounce. And uh, I think it's an absolutely huge result tonight. And I, I don't know, I was just really impressed. I, I thought Leeds were just the way we were quite calm in situations where they were really pressing us and we were just playing our, our normal style. And I think when teams make you play a different style and not your own style, that's when you're already, you know, losing a fight. You you, you haven't even fought yet. I don't know. Um, but I think we stuck with our style. Daniel Farker, fair play to that man. He made one change from the win at Huddersfield and that was bringing in Archie Gray right back. And Archie Gray, 17 years old absolutely fantastic he he's just, i can't give him any more praise there's no more words to describe that man i think people need to start putting respect on archie gray's name because he's not even a right back and he's just pocketed one of the best wingers in the league like he was absolutely fantastic melier let's talk about that save at the end fantastic unfortunately it come from ailing's man and i thought when ailing came on oh god don't give away a 90 minute penalty or something he did lose his man drewsbury hall right in the top corner melier i do know i don't know how he saved it but he did, and it was fantastic. His only shot uh, that he had to save today, Leicester had one shot on target, and that came in the 94th minute. So, you know, I, th I think we've done well today, ladies and gentlemen. I really do think we've done well. I had a better work, and if I had to lose, I was bringing in biscuits Monday. I'm not bringing in the biscuits. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, no, fantastic uh, from from start to finish. And I never thought, I always did think Leicester might, you know, because they've got that quality that they could get into the game just by a really nice strike. Obviously, they did hit the bar in the first half, a lovely strike uh, by their by their winger. I keep calling them by their wingers because I don't actually know how to pronounce their names properly. And I don't want to butcher it for you Leicester City fans. Uh, but fair play to Leicester, you know, They'll be up there. Of course they will. They've had an amazing start to the season. Just thought Leeds were the deserved winners tonight. We were just better uh, all round. Um, we could have had a few penalties. I thought a lot of the penalty calls were very cheap. If they had been given against us, I would have been furious. I think maybe the Rutter one, you could argue, but I think Somerville won. There was a handball one. Not for me. Um, 
but yeah, I, I was confident in this game, ladies and gentlemen, and we have absolutely smashed it. <sighs> My man of the match tonight. I don't know. Dad, who was your man of the match tonight? Who? Kamara. Love that. Glenn Kamara. He was fantastic again. And he seems to be absolutely just, you know, finding his way in this lead shirt. He He's had a brilliant game against Huddersfield. Probably another man of the match performance tonight. And did he actually get man of the match? He did. Um, yeah, fantastic. Deserved. Thoroughly deserved that man. Uh, Rutter, happy for him scoring. Joel Perot was more in the game than usual. Um, I was just happy. I'm just happy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to let you enjoy your night. And look at that. We don't have to worry about the whole weekend. I love that when you play on a Friday night and win. Uh, and that's what we have to do. We're now knocking on the door for that top two. Pressure on Ipswich now and pressure on this Leicester City side to keep winning after this. We play our next game, I believe, is Plymouth, I want to say, next Saturday. That might be a lie. I'm, I mean, he don't know. Uh, but I think it is Plymouth and, you know, hell of a game. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you then. There'll be content during the week, of course. I'm sure there'll be reactions. I'm sure I'll be on other people's channels. Joe's, Jers, Leeds lately. I sh I'm sure I'll be on them all. Uh, just talking all about Leeds United's fantastic win and the biggest win of the season for Leeds United. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 500 likes for the biggest win of the season. Also, subscribe if you are new. Let's get to 12K before the end of the year and comment your man of the match. I've been Ollie Ward and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh.